culturally, it's not, you know, my experience. My grandparents, my parents, everybody was very, very progressive, very supportive people. My grandfather was very encouraging towards careers for women. It's everybody, all the girls in the family, they did something with their lives. But then I was more keen, if she's going to the National College of Arts, then she might as well do architecture, which has scope, you know, and like, you know, when she said, Fine arts, one was a bit, you know, what, at the most you just hang a few paintings in the house, whether you have a future or not. <laughs> <laughs> so one was That's skeptical so about that. This type of work for me was like just the opposite of the process of doing miniature painting. This particular installation is much, much more spontaneous and it's always a challenge because the decisions made are fast. It involves my entire body. It's like I'm working within the space and I'm um, up and down, you know, the ladders and I'm like painting and it, everything kind of happens from start to end within like four or five days. So there's a certain energy which comes out there is a certain sense of a low relief where several drawings have been hung on top of each other. There's no intention to hide anything. Everything is very visible. The paper is transparent. It floats, it moves. The idea, you know, comes out of this whole relationship to veiling and revealing. I'm always taking photographs, doing sketches or taking notes. And then I carry them wherever I go. I brought so much stuff from Pakistan and then so much stuff from Texas. And then every time I sit to do some work, all of it is opened up. For me, it's always like these divine circles. <laughs> you know, you go and you experience something and then you come back right where you started. When I'm working large and I paint and I do murals, the next thing is always I come back to miniature painting. I can hate miniature for a while and because it's frustrating because for all the different reasons of doing something so labor intensive, you know, which takes years to make. So it's like always, why do I do this? And I let go and I do something else, but I always come back to it. And uh, maybe because by the sheer act of doing it is what gives me um, certain sort of, you know, peace.